This is probably the most important video I have made to date. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to beautiful Chiang Mai. Today I want to talk about long-term care. Now when I was doing my research on this, back in the United States, all the numbers that I saw were north of $4,500 a month. Most were over $5,000. There was even one that can go as high as $10,000 or $11,000 a month for long-term care at a facility. Well today I want to take you somewhere. I want to show you what one of your options are here in beautiful Chiang Mai. Let's go. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the facility and talk about the amenities and then we'll go from there. Here we go. Okay, so first is our bakery. Uh -huh. A lot of people from the community come here to get um, bread and beautiful cakes. Okay, so this is not just for the residents, the no. community can come in yes. as well. Okay, very good. The, the whole resort's open to the community as well as of our long-term guests. And if you guys can't see some of this, we're talking about brownie, almond brownie. Uh, there's mocha caramel right there, as well as apple crumble. And these probably change periodically, right? The desserts? Yes. Yeah. And we make the best homemade ice cream. Oh, right. In Chiang Mai. I have heard this is the best homemade ice cream as well. <laughs> All right, headed to the restaurant now. Lots of people there today, as you can see, some community members have come for lunch. Oh, yeah. Lunch. Very nice. This is a very nice, spacious area, too. Yes. And you can see the high ceilings here, too. So. Outdoor dining area. Okay. Barbecue. Wow. And I know, especially come October, November, it's a lot cooler, the weather's nicer, so this yes, would be a nice much area much. too. Yes. Uh -huh. And down to our beautiful swimming pool. Wow. So folks, I'm not sure if the video is doing it justice, but it is very green and lush out here. And look at this pool right here. So it's got full wheelchair access. Oh, okay. So we're on the far end there, there's four wheelchair access there. Yep. And this is a, is it salt water or is it? Uh, chlorine. Chlorine, okay. I was just curious, but this is a nice size pool. Yes, lots of guests sit around here all day and drink mocktails and yeah. go for a swim and enjoy, enjoy their day. Very nice. Yes. All right. I'll take you to see the building. Okay. So, all right. This building in front of us uh, was a restaurant that we built just before COVID hit and then COVID hit and you know stopped everything so later on this year or the beginning of next year we're going to open that um, restaurant up and we're thinking about an Italian theme restaurant okay um, so maybe pizza pasta and we'll have the two restaurants going there very nice the resort is fully fenced um, it's about 10 acres uh, we have security at the gate 24 hours a day nice so is this an area where they can walk if they want to the residents yes, walk? Yes, lots of guests do walking um, okay. every morning or after it's a bit too hot in the middle of the day. Right. But lots of them walk um, early morning and in the evening. Okay. Okay, so our first stop. So we have six pavilion buildings at the resort. Mm -hmm. They're all identical, so I'm going to show you building number two. Okay. Let's give you a, a once around and look at all the greenery here. And there's beautiful little walking tracks yeah. for the resort. The whole resort is wheelchair accessible. Okay. So when you're walking up to this, it's like <laughs> almost like walking up to a castle. Yes, <laughs> it really is. Please come in. Oh. Wow, look at this, folks. So, the first thing you might notice is the natural light. Yeah. Um, and it's been designed in such a way that it doesn't cast a shadow. 
Oh. Very, very minimal. For some people with dementia, they're already unsteady on their feet. And if right. They see a shadow, they can cause them to oh. potentially fall. As a distraction or something yep. like that. Okay. So that was um, considered when they made the build. Each corner of the building has three rooms. So you have a choice. You can either have one single room, two connecting rooms, or three rooms. So you can have the whole corner of the... So like a, you can have a, a study, bedroom, and a lounge room. Okay. Or if you want two rooms. Uh, we've got a guest here, husband and wife. The husband doesn't need any care at all, but his wife needs 24-hour care. Mm. So they have two bedrooms, so that my staff can go in and out of the, the wife's bedroom without disturbing the husband's Oh, room. okay. Uh, just down this one, we've got a, um, a communal kitchen. Oh, okay. But to be completely honest with you, I've been here over a year and I've never seen anyone cook. Huh. They all go to the restaurant or get room service, whatever. Well, I've seen your menu, so there's really no reason to cook yes. from what I see. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this one's set up as a lounge room as you come in. Okay. And we have fully disabled wheelchair accessible bathroom. Yeah. And as you come through, you come into the bedroom. <clears throat> so this one's set up in a single bed, but you can have a double bed mm -hmm. if the guest requires uh, high nursing. Then we can have a hospital bed in here as well. Okay. Yeah. And again, another um, bathroom. And once again, it's very open, so you know yes. you don't feel so cluttered or crowded in here. So each like room that. is thirty-two square meters. Okay. Yeah. And there's also the large windows, so when you open those curtains, so much light can get in here as yeah, well. Some rooms have balconies. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, these ones don't, but some of them do have balconies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Let's take a look here, yes, real quick. Please. Yeah. So there's plenty of room there, so if you had to roll a wheelchair in there too. Yes. Also, very nice. We're currently doing renovations in the building, so we're putting in brand new bathrooms, um, new paint, just uh, new furniture, so it's all going to look completely different. Oh, okay. Give it a warm once over. And this is just a, if you just want a single room. Mm -hmm. That's just a uh, plain single room. Yeah, so it's everything that you need. I like that. And we have a nurse call system, so oh, it's not like here, but um, if a guest is uh, needing attention, it's okay. just a buzzer and we come run. Very nice. Lots of closet space, too. Yes, lots of closet space. Oh yeah, that's bigger than my closet. Yeah. <laughs> and I call this the, the magic basket. You put your dirty clothes in there, <laughs> and in the morning housekeeping comes and cleans your room every day. They oh. take your washing, uh, and then by the end of the day it all comes back washed, dried, folded, ironed, perfect. Wow. The magic box. <laughs> I think I have one of those at home. <laughs> And so, I think what I noticed also is in the hallway, is that a camera down there? Yes. Okay. Just plenty in the common areas. It's just if, um, right. if somebody has a fall or something, we can review the footage and determine what made them fall. I think that's a great safety feature to have. Like, did they trip over or did they have a cardiac event or what right. was the cause of the fall? Ah. Let me pull this door here. Oh, yes, okay. So, <clears throat> so if you need nursing care, uh -huh. you have to be in a pavilion. Okay. If you don't need nursing care, 
you can be in a villa and I'll show you the villa, they're beautiful. Oh, okay. Uh, we have guests who live in the villas. They've been there for a number of years. Don't require any nursing care at the moment, but they're just here in, in case they require nursing care. Right. So what is your um what is your maximum capacity? We have 80 beds. Okay. That will never be full. Okay. Because most guests have two rooms. Mm -hmm. So I guess the number to say that we're full would be around um, around 50. Okay. Yeah. So every uh, morning we have activation class. I'll show you where we do that. class it starts off with a bit of med meditation and then some passive movement to get the guests moving mm -hmm. and then it turns into a bit more um, fun and games like balls or whatever a beautiful pond oh yeah and so this is where the activation class yes. takes place okay yes. if it's not too hot if it's too hot we do it inside very nice so we have an occupational therapist on our team mm -hmm. so seven days a week we have Activation class in the morning and then in the afternoon we have a different activity that could be cooking at the restaurant, it could be a trip up to a cafe in the mountains, ah. art and craft, painting, whole range of things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so I noticed some of your vehicles out there with your, your name on it. So yeah. if they have a, a, a medical appointment, a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. do you guys help provide that? We arrange all medical appointments for you. Part of my job is liaising with the families overseas, mm -hmm. so I'm like the middleman. Okay. Uh, we take the guests to and from, obviously. If a guest is admitted to hospital, my staff will stay with them by their bedside 24 hours a day. That is great. Yep. Absolutely. This is nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's nice and quiet. Yeah. We're at the base of the mountains here, so it's really nice and quiet. <clears throat> Lots of native birds. Yeah. A lot of guests do bird watching as well. I can imagine how the mornings are. Hello, how are you? Hi, how about you? Good, thank you. Yeah, so I live about five minutes from here, so I know how the mornings are with the birds, and it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you inside this building. Mm -hmm. This is called the Wellness Center. Very popular with guests, uh -huh. and you'll see why. Uh -huh. So, first thing we have our saunas. I'm not sure why you need a sauna in Thailand. <laughs> Thailand is a sauna. Yeah, you just want to walk outside, but we do have two saunas. Okay. And then we have. Ah. Do pedicures, manicures as well. This feels like it's all inclusive. Pretty yes. much everything you need. Yes. Oh, wow. I know I've said this in uh in other videos that I've done at bakeries and restaurants, but I'll say it again. If you could smell the aroma in here, yes. you know, it's like aromatherapy. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. And what I like about it, you know, a lot of facilities, I know back in the, in the West, in the States, they don't have the ones like treadmills because those are the ones that are dangerous. Could be, could be dangerous for, for some of the guests. And then we have our beautiful two massage rooms. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, thank you. What I like about this, you can just look out the window and still everything is so beautiful. Why are you getting your massage? If I was to describe this in one word, it would probably be serenity. Yes. It really is. Uh, yeah. This Most of our guests have a massage twice a week. It's oh, a very wow. popular building. I would say so. <laughs> Now, if you don't need nursing care, your family come to visit you. Mm -hmm. You can stay in the villas and I'll show you inside them. Okay. You know, I just visited the United States a couple weeks ago. Uh -huh. 
And one thing I can appreciate about being here, you don't hear any heavy traffic either. No, 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 no. Yeah. We're about 40 minutes away from the city. Uh huh. Um, I guess you'd call it rural Thailand. Yes, yes. But the resort has two cars, so if, it, as you said before, if the guests want to go to, you know, the city to go to do the tourist things or go shopping or whatever, they just book a car at the at, at front reception and we, and we take them. Oh, okay. Very nice. Okay, I'll show you the Grand Deluxe Villa. All right. Swati Cup. Cup. Some of the villas aren't wheelchair accessible. Okay. The only thing in the resort that's not wheelchair accessible, but like I said before, mm -hmm. if you require nursing assistance, um, you need to be in a pavilion building. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> like the stars out there's a screen door here so if you want to just have the doors open to get a breeze to come through you can do that look how spacious this is this is deluxe villa deluxe villa wow and then you sit down to double sinks Have you ever been to Thailand? You'll know that uh, <laughs> you visit a lot of the, some of the hotels. You have the wet bathrooms. And you definitely don't have that here. Uh, the ceilings are high as well, and so yeah, this is a beautiful space. And once again, lots of covered, covered areas. Oh yeah. This one's actually got a fridge. Ah. And tea, coffee. A safe. Oh, very nice. So one of our guests, he's been here for five years or something. Oh wow! And he just lives here in this in a room like this. And yeah. Maybe one day he might need nursing care. Maybe he won't. And he just likes the assurance that he's, if he does need any help, or any uh, or any uh, call away. I like the other rooms. So if they wanted to have a a call button, they could have one a call yes, button if they wanted. Absolutely. Okay. Very nice. And there's nurses here 24 hours a day. And so actually, if you want a guest to come visit, you can entertain right here, outside. This is nice. One of the things I appreciated, you know, just as riding around here is, you could tell a lot of this was built around the trees. Not every tree come in and was cut down, but <laughs> they kept the beauty of this property here. And a lot of these trees, you could tell, are very old. And it's beautiful. It's like it was the perfect design so uh, when they built this. Our competitors... Um they weren't purpose built. They used to be an old hotel or resort or something, and then mm -hmm. they decided to provide care for people. Whereas Vivo Bayane, we purpose built this resort to care for people. So okay. we built it about 10 years ago. Ah, oh, okay, gotcha. Well, I tell you what I can do is I can ask you these questions on the, on the ride here. Sure. Yeah, so, and honestly, that was one of the questions that I had. So. What is the concept behind uh, Vivo Benny? I mean, it was it's a Swedish company, my understanding? Yeah, so it's Swiss owned. Uh, we have a Thai director. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea is to provide a resort style uh, living for people who require or may require care um, in, a, in, a, in a resort style, you know, in a resort setting, yeah. Right. Yep. And so that's one of the questions I had too. So I guess it's a resort as well as a long term uh, care facility? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So you kind of explained this when you showed me the different rooms available, but who, who would you say that this is, who is a good fit for, for people, Benny? Our youngest guest is 22. Oh, wow. Yep. Um, unfortunately, he suffers from cerebral palsy. Yeah. Um, and our oldest guest is 92. So it's not just for old, older people, mm -hmm. it's for anybody who requires care. 
Okay, okay. And and another one of those questions that I was going to ask you, you pretty much answered was what are some of the amenities available? And we've seen that with the swimming pool, mm -hmm. the restaurant, um, there's sauna, there's massages available, yes. and also the ability to go out if they wanted to go to any of the tourist attractions or doctor's appointment, those things are taken care of yes. as well. Basically, the guest doesn't have to worry about anything. Okay. We, we do everything for them. Wow. And there's one thing we don't say to a guest is no. If the guest wants to do something, we just make sure it happens. Okay. Yep. So if they're able-bodied and they want to do it, you know, they can do it, huh? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll support their independence and, and their choices and deliver the care the way that they want it delivered, not the way that, you know, traditional Western world would say this is the way it's got to be. Okay. So as you can see, some of these uh, pavilion rooms have a veranda. Ah, yes. And the other thing in Thailand, <clears throat> Especially in rain season, which we're in now, is you constantly get blackouts all the time. Right. So, when we have a blackout at the resort, we have two diesel generators. If the power is out for four seconds, mm -hmm. the generators will fire up and power up the whole resort. Oh, wow. The other thing in Thailand, you can't drink water from the tap because you'll get um, poisoning. But here, any tap inside the pavilion buildings or the villa buildings, we filter the water. Okay. So, you can, we've got people with memory. Um, memory loss, they might forget that they can't drink it, but right. they're not going to get sick, they can drink as much as oh, they want. That is awesome, and that's, that's, that, that is a one of the inconveniences of living in Thailand, you have to make sure you get the filter water. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a broad question, Brad. Sure. But, um, well, first of all, I know we've been talking, but what, what is your what is your position here at, at the facility? Yeah, so I'm very blessed. I've been a registered nurse for 25 years in Australia. Uh -huh. And I hold the position of um, Head of Nursing and Guest Care here. Mm -hmm. and I'm very lucky and honoured. It's not easy to get a job working in Thailand. And um, yeah, I'm very privileged to be able to, to be here and care for our guests and just provide that Western touch to the nursing, the nursing side of things. Yeah. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Um, I guess my last question, this is going to be kind of a broad question, you know, if you can answer as best you can. Yeah. Now, when I, you look at the prices of, say, a lot of the Western countries, yes. uh, long term, what, how comparable as far as price, do you think is maybe, can be almost half or a third of what you would pay in some of the Western countries? Or, um, well, I could use in Australia, for example. In Australia, uh, if you enter an aged care home, you, you, the government gives you an um, asset assessment mm -hmm. so if you own your own house and there's no one else living in it basically the government will force you to sell it oh wow and then give the nursing home a large bond which could be anything from three hundred thousand Australian dollars up to a million Australian dollars right so I say to um, our potential guests all the time instead of selling your family home rent it out mm -hmm. and what rent you'll get for that you'll pay for your resort lifestyle here Wow and you get to keep your house as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the things I'm going to show them um, at the end of this video is, you know, just the cost of, I know it would be outrageous, um, the cost-wise, to have any kind of nursing care. Like in the United States, you have your certified nursing assistant, CNA, LPN, RN. Um, most people are outpriced when it comes to having any kind of one-on-one -on -one care. But when I show them the prices and, and bought, and I will convert that for them, but it is very doable here in Thailand. Absolutely, and you know, in the Western country, for you to pay for one-to-one -one nursing care, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. But over here, you get your own dedicated nurse, whether it be for 12 hours a day or 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. um, who's gonna stand right beside you, provide you with any assistance that you require, and that assistance might just be company. Right. It doesn't have to be so much nursing care. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be company, and um, they will stand right beside you and help you as much or as little as you want. Wow. Yes. And, and that's what, you know, I, I love about this. You know, when I was doing my research to come over here, this is known as the, the land of a thousand smiles. Yes. And just seeing your staff here, you can yes, see that in there. They're always smiling. They're very caring. Um, mm -hmm. We have a friend here. My wife and I have a friend here who has um, an assistant that helps him out. And she is so compassionate yes. when it comes to taking care of him. So um, I was a CNA back in the States. This is why this is so passionate for me to have mm -hmm. this conversation with you yes. and I know how it's important because families worry they want to know that whoever's taking care of their loved ones they're getting the best care and that's what I see here absolutely and one of the things that draws me to stay here and be here 
is the ability for us to provide the one-on-one -on -one care. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, Thai culture is all about respect and, you know, especially for their elders. Mm -hmm. And you see it coming through on them when they're doing the smallest thing for our guests or, or whatever, you know, support they're, they're delivering. But it is just beautiful to watch and they do it with such, like you said, compassion and yeah, it's just beautiful to watch. I love it. It's great. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for your time. You're I welcome. appreciate it. And um, I look forward to getting this video out and showing people what's possible. One of the reasons why I moved to Thailand is to show people that this is possible. And one of the things that we don't think about when we move here, you know, I, I moved here at 55 years old. Uh -huh. And who knows where I may be at 75 years old. I may need some assistance. So yes. this is something to start thinking about um, as you decide to move over here is, and it doesn't just have to be, to come to Vivo Benny to retire, but come here and stay. Yes. You know, check it out, see how, how it is. And um, let me put this on me. So <clears throat> this is one of those things, I really appreciate this. I've had lunch here a couple of times and um, the food is amazing. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. And the way they're gonna treat you um, is unheard of. Like I said, I was a CNA back in the States for a little while. Um, my hat's off to those who do that work, but what I see here is a step above and it's affordable. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, and I'll get right back with you. All right, folks, I just wanted to take a moment and uh, show you some of the numbers that I talked about that I would do. And here are some of the prices. So daily rates. So one of the first rooms that Brad showed us was the single room. Um, two persons can stand there. And that is only 1,620 baht, uh, which converts to about 44 or $45 a day, um, all the way up to the Grand Deluxe. Now the Grand Deluxe is gonna be 2,770 baht. That's about $77 a day. And I, a couple of months ago, I was back in the States, um, and I tell you, you're not gonna find a decent hotel for, for $77 there. And you saw how nice and big that room was. I think it was, what is it, 72 uh, meters, which is about 775 square feet. So that's a pretty good size place to stay. So the meal plans, they have where you can get breakfast only, half board or full board. And so the breakfast only is, a, is 300 baht, um, which is about $8, I believe. And the full board, you're looking at $26 a day, which is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And as I mentioned before, the uh, the restaurant there is, is, is really good, really good food there. So this is what really caught my attention, the care packages. So any anything from just assisted living, your basics, personal laundry, morning activation therapy, Brad took us out to that area and we saw that. Um, occupational therapies and activities, arranging medical appointments for you, and 24-hour services uh, by nursing team. So that's the assisted living package. And that right there is 450 baht a day, which is about $12. So you see there's a wide range, uh, a gamut of, of services. And I won't go through all of these, but even at the far end, um, where if you're looking at permanent care, <clears throat> everything from assistance to essential care, uh, the general care services, and then the advanced care services, dedicated nurse during the day, <clears throat> excuse me, um, guidance orientation throughout the day, dementia behavior support, all of that right there, uh, 3,100 baht. So $86 a day uh, to pay for, if you need all those services, if something like that was to happen, um, I think, you know, it, it is very reasonable for what you're getting for those services. But like I, as I mentioned, I'll put all of this um, in the link below. And so you can check out those numbers for yourself and see if this is something you may be interested in moving forward. All right, folks, let's go back and wrap this up. All right, so thanks for joining me, folks. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Could you see yourself retiring, not only retiring in another country, but maybe spending your last years in another country. Tell me about the prices back where you live. What are we looking at there? Once again, I want to bring you information that you can use and let you know what's possible here in Chiang Mai.
I love you, and I'll see you in the next one.